Hey, it's Eric Holland. I guess everybody has musical comfort food, bands that remind them of who they were and who they are, and Buffalo Tom is one of those bands for me. They've been around 25 years, as Janovitz reminded us last night at the Intimate Mercury Lounge, and I've been conscious of them for 20 of those years, and they've always been a difficult band for me to describe or try to turn somebody on to because they're not the est of anything. I remember a radio consultant telling me one time that a, a radio station should be the est, so they'll be memorable. They should be the most heavy or whatever the case may be. And Buffalo Tom isn't the est of anything, but they have a lot of great features. Uh, they're fantastically tight. They're smart. Uh, they write songs about uh, loss and acceptance, and they're always doing it in this power trio format where the drummer McGinnis is is hard driving and the bass player Coburn is is uh, generally in the pocket and plays with finesse and you have uh, Janovitz on guitar and vocals who can channel emotion into screams and also in, into uh, economical solos and he's a master of uh, pedals. Uh, he'll go fuzz, no fuzz and he'll go loud soft on you and uh, he's generally not flashy, but uh, he can step back and do some windmills, and uh, he's he's wonderful. Uh, this band uh, has been uh, writing songs like Tangerine and I'm Allowed and uh, Tail Lights Fade that uh, are, you know, by all rights should be much more well-known than they are, but a, a benefit of, of being turned on to a band like Buffalo Tom is you can see him in these little places and... Uh, and just enjoy the hell of it like I did last night. Uh, they have a new album coming. Janovitz said it would probably come out on Valentine's Day, uh, and he said uh, defiantly we're calling it a record, you know, as opposed to a CD. He's a funny guy, too, and another, uh, another nice feature of Buffalo Tom. I will catch you later in the Holland Tunnel.